on this episode of Cars and Coffee Exposed. It's imports, Chevy-powered Fords, and a Harley in disguise. Raz, this thing is insane, first of all. It looks amazing. And I learned something new today. So with a VW, you've got a motorcycle engine in here. Motorcycle engine and transmission. I didn't know that was possible. Can you explain, please, expound? Well, everybody does the Volkswagen drivetrain with the Harley engine. Uh -huh. So I wanted to do something different. So I went with a Harley motor and transmission with a jack shaft with an S10 rear end. So it's kind of complicated, but it's really not. It's very complicated. So like in layman's terms, does that make it faster? Does that make it? Well, uh, the original Volkswagen had about 55 horsepower. Uh -huh. So the Harley engine's pushing about 80. So okay. That's a lot when you got so little to start yeah. with. Yeah, absolutely. Do you race it? No, no. I just got it. Just to I mean, it's really shot. cool though. Yeah. So this thing, I'm sure, gets a lot of attention. Yes. Are, you've been in some magazines, I hear. Yeah, uh, the latest issue, a Rat Rod magazine, issue 63. Um, so I'm in that. So tell everybody at home, what is a Rat Rod exactly? Well, my opinion of a Rat Rod is you feel with what you got. Ah. Or, you know, and then you trade off stuff. and It's not really going to a store and buying something. Right. I mean, for instance, I got the bug out of a cow pasture. Mm -hmm. Paid 200 bucks for it. Okay. <laughs> and then I sold the engine and transmission for 200. So I was back to zero. So, I mean, that's kind of what it's about. You know, okay. you just kind of, you know, it's one man's trash is another man's treasure. You know what I I'm saying? I love so, that. I love so that's that. that's uh, basically how it is. And uh, the engine, I built a drift track, mm -hmm. traded the drift track for a golf cart, traded the golf cart for the donor, Harley Davidson. So, I love this. Are you Facebook market placing it or what? How are well, you finding all this? I do sometimes. But, uh, I got a lot of buddies that. You okay, know, you're Durant just. I yeah. got you. I got you. It's so cool. I mean, you're. Is this your first coffee and cars in Augusta? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, I, this will be my first, but definitely not my last. Yeah. So, what do you do for a living? Is this what uh, you do? Are you a mechanic? No, uh, I actually work in logging. So. Okay. With your hands. Uh, no, with my hands on the joystick. <laughs> <laughs> well, it took a lot of skill to do this. I mean, it, are you, have you done it by yourself? Yeah, um, well, I had some help from a couple of my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Todd and Lee, they helped me tear. That was the hardest part, tearing the motor and stuff out of this mm -hmm. and out of the uh, Harley Davidson. Right. But building it just kind of came easy. Amazing. What was the inspiration behind it? Well, I, I built a, a golf cart. Um, well, kind of a golf cart, rat rod, mm -hmm. go kart. Okay. And kind of the same concept. Uh -huh. The engine running down to the tra to the rear end mm -hmm. and uh, run it that way. Mm -hmm. And so that was, I was like, well, if that works, then I can go this way. Yeah. I, did, I didn't want to do it the traditional way mm -hmm. with the uh, Volkswagen drive train. So right. I went with the jack chain. Pretty impressive. How long did it take you to build it? I worked on it about a year. Wow. So, yeah. So what are you going to do when people start asking you to build these for them? Well, I'm not in the market for doing that. You know what I, mean? I, I just, I like to do it for myself. And, I love it. You know, I don't mind helping out my Rat Rod family. You know what I'm saying? I so, love that. Yeah. Okay, well, Rat Rod family, if you need some advice, you know who to come to. This is Raz, and we're here at Coffee and Cars in Augusta. Thanks, Raz. Thank you so much. Badass car. Thank you.
here with Spencer. And Spencer, I've been dying to talk to you. First of all, thanks for hanging around. We really appreciate you. So you Miata guys are like a different breed. Yeah, <laughs> we are. I mean, you're literally like a cult. So tell me, what makes the Miata so special? Uh, just everything about it. Yeah? The, the way it the handles? Head, the headlights, the handling. The so the headlights are the sleepy headlights? Is that what it's called? Uh, that's what they were originally, yeah. Ah. We put them back to the normal ones. OK, OK. You've only had it since February, so I know you haven't got to do all the cool things you want to do to it yet. Now, this car was a result of you, I, I heard you wrecked your last car. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Um, I, was, uh, I was in the turning lane to pull in uh -huh. and uh, got blind spotted. Oh, so when your fault? It was oh, technically. Okay. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. She was coming out hate, now. I hate, <laughs> hate to announce that. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but we got something better and more unique and what have you done to it so far, and what do you plan on doing to it? Got the wrap, the body kit, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, put new headlights, mm -hmm. and uh, that's pretty much all we've done for now. Because you haven't had that long, right? Since yeah, like February. February. Okay, awesome. So I'm excited to see what else you're gonna do with it. If you need help with that interior, I know where you can get some. I'll, I'll we'll be in touch. Um, <laughs> but it's a cool car, and I know that this is like a community thing for you guys. So you, you get with other Miata owners, and you guys like geek out about Miatas. Yeah. yeah. And you're gonna do an engine swap too, right? Yeah. Can you tell me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the future, we will be swapping a, a K24A into okay. it. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thanks so much for sticking around, talking with us, and it's nice meeting you, Spencer. You too. <laughs>Is Derek Pepin and I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So this is my uh, 1992 Nissan 240SX. Um, it's pretty slow, but um, it drifts and it's uh, pretty solid. Uh, I'm pretty into like a Japanese street like culture, and um, I was a big Toyota guy prior. But um, like in West Japan, a lot of the guys have some really like uh, flamboyant cars, and they're really like good at sliding. And I don't know, the flair is really up there. And I, I, I think like having an S chassis and trying to mimic that over in the States is kind of nice. Because a lot of people don't really uh, have it. It's a lot of 350Zs and stuff, so when they see a 240, everyone kind of respects it. It's not too common to see like a four-cylinder, like low horsepower, um, like car driving around the tracks, especially since the tracks here are not low horsepower friendly. A lot of longer courses, so. Well, my father, he's a big uh, like uh, V8 guy. Uh, he's got a 69 Stingray, and um, uh, that's Maso Pantera. And as a kid, he was always wrenching in, you know, in his garage and in the shop. So um, I used to just take peeks and slowly just kind of got into it from there. I like seeing all the Japanese cars that line up. Um, to me, I have a lot of friends here. So um, since I'm always busy working, I, I like to enjoy my weekend and see the guys and just hang out.
He my communicated goodness. with the lottery tickets. Oh my goodness. And now he's giving big I love it! My, my favorite uncle gave me my first lottery ticket and he just passed um, a little well, while ago. So I know, yeah. not crazy. I love it. Well, nice meeting nice you meet all. You. Take care. I and and what was you, all, so. what, what's your name? Dottie. Dottie? I'm Susie. Susie, I'm Chelsea. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice gorgeous. to meet you. Thank you. You too. You too. Hey, I'm well, 61 years old. Honey, you working <laughs> it. You are working <laughs> it. <laughs> it's so nice meeting y'all. Nice meet Beautiful car. Thank you. <laughs>truck and I thought it's a Chevy it's got it's got a Chevy grill on it but it's not no it's a Ford it's a Ford okay and what year is it it's a 1940 1940 Ford, so. Ford and, and it has a 350 Chevrolet under the hood so you're partially okay okay going off a little bit it's a hybrid yeah the best of both worlds <laughs> right. I love it I love it so tell us how you and your husband built this right yes so Bevan's garage that's is that that's business? my husband okay um, his grandfather had Bevan's Garage many, many years ago in Maryland. Wow. So we started building the trucks in honor of his grandfather. Oh, I so, love that. Yeah. And so tell me, I mean, did you, it, was it a junkyard find or where, how did it come together? It actually, a friend of ours, we've been showing our tow truck for a while, and a friend of ours had this in pieces. And he called me up and he's like, look, I can't do it. I want to get rid of it. I want you to buy it. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Well, just so happens, my father passed away, and he was born in 1940. Wow. This was the day after he passed away. <gasps> so it was a sign. It was a sign. So yeah. I told my husband, I'm like, we got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so glad you did. So we did. We, we went and picked it up in pieces. It was in boxes. The fenders and the hood and all the, the tailgate and everything came in boxes on the back of a trailer and we put it together. You guys put it together. Yes. How long have you been working on cars? I have been working on cars since I met my husband 43 years ago. <laughs> brought you into the black him. hole of the car yeah. world. Okay, yes. I love yes. it, I love it. Yes. It's beautiful. Well, thank you. Are you gonna do anything more to it? Is it done? It's never done. <laughs> <laughs> it's never done. It never um, is. No. How fast is this thing? I have not had it over 55. <laughs> okay. <laughs> plan is safe. Plan no, is safe. safe. But it does have a, a race motor in it. It does. It does. So yeah. how many horsepower? Good question. Good question. That's for the next interview. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask Jim when Jim. Ask Jim when he comes up for the tow truck. I love it. I yeah. love it. Well, we're so glad you brought it here today yeah. for us to take a look at. It's gorgeous. And um, one of a kind. So, yeah, con uh, congratulations on your build. How long did it take for you guys to build it? About five years. Wow. But in the process, though, um, we bought it in July. And in October, I decided I didn't want to live in Florida anymore. Mm. And I decided that we were going to move to South Carolina. Okay. So, so we had to put everything on hold. Okay. Until we got a house and a garage. And yeah. Yeah. So it's been in your so garage. You've been, been tinkering been away tinkering at it. At it the last five years. I love it. Yeah. Well, great job on it. Well, Thanks, thank Sadie. Thanks a lot. Thank Bevan's you. Garage. Bevan Garage. And we do have t-shirts. <laughs> She's got shirts. We have shirts. Go support you guys. <laughs>
If you want the best customer experience from your detailer, make sure they're powered by Eurable. Subscribe now and never miss an episode of Cars and Coffee Exposed.